Here we have a system that relates the input to the output, y of t equals x squared of t, and we want to test if it's a linear system or not. So to do that, we test additivity, and then we test homogeneity. If it passes both tests, it's a linear system. So let's take our inputs, apply them to the output. So at the output of each system, we should get x squared. So x1 will be x1 squared, and x2 will give me x2 squared. And then I add these two together, and I get, oops, x1 squared plus x2 squared. And then I do that again, but this time I add the signals together before entering into the system. So at this point here, I'd have x1 of t plus x2 of t. And when they come out of the system, I'd have all of that, because that's my input, that would be squared. Because that's what the system does. It takes the input and it squares it. And if this is my input, then I need to square that. So it'll be x1 of t plus x2 of t squared. And for the test of additivity to be true, this has to be exactly the same as that. And we can clearly see that they are not the same. So therefore, the test of additivity has failed. So it's not additive. And as a result, we can say, therefore, it's a nonlinear system. We don't need to do the test of homogeneity because the system has already failed the test of additivity. So if it's not additive, it cannot be linear. If it's not additive, it cannot be linear. So all we needed to do was apply the test.